story out front tonight. Drugs known as bath salts being blamed for a gruesome scene in Miami. This is a naked man. He was shot dead on Saturday by police because he was gnawing off another man's face. Obviously, that sounds horrific, and it is. I want to warn you that the pictures uh, we're about to show you are very disturbing. 31-year-old Rudy Eugene was described to be in a zombie-like state when he was caught by police. Armando Aguilar, president of the Miami Fraternal Order of Police, suspects Eugene was under the influence of so-called bath salts, which are sold as cocaine substitutes or synthetic LSD. When, when he was found, what he had done to this man's face, a uh, victim was 65 years old, truly horrific. Apparently, all that's left is his goatee. Uh, his eyeballs were gone. His face, it is it is unbelievable. Dr. Charles Sophie is a psychiatrist at the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services, and he's out front now. Dr. Sophie, have you ever heard of anything like this? I mean, it's awful to even talk about um, some of the, 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 the things I just said that, that this man did to his victim's face. Absolutely. There are many reactions that your brain can have when you're putting in a substance such as this. These are very cocaine-like substances that will have a very aggressive reaction within your brain. And the behavior that comes out of that could be anything from aggression to ripping off basically someone's face. Severe, severe reactions. And they're not able to be tested, these drugs. So we're putting in substances into our face, that we, into our bodies, that we don't know what is going to happen when we do that. So Bath salts an umbrella term for a variety of synthetic caffeinine stimulants. Caffeinone stimulants are found naturally in cat plant. However, the main ingredient is a more powerful man-made stimulant called methydioxopyrovalerone. It is chemically similar to methamphetamine, cocaine, and ecstasy. Bath salts are found in the form of brown and white crystalline powder. The drug is marketed as bath salts to avoid detection by authorities and is produced in Europe and China. When they arrive in the U.S., they are sold over the internet. Convenience stores, tobacco stores, gas stations, truck stops, pawn shops, tattoo parlors, and the streets. There are many other names for it, including Ivory Wave, Vanilla Sky, and White Lightning. Bath salts can be used orally, snorted, injected, and smoked. There are also frequent psychotic breaks when using. The reason people escalate to bath salts is because they are cheaper than cocaine and are used for quicker and more speedy high. The side effects are euphoria, increased sociability, paranoia, agitation, hallucinatory delirium, psychotic or violent behavior, increased sex drive, and death. To meet Tyler right now. Tyler's 20 years old. He's from Illinois. He knows about this drug firsthand. He's a recovering addict. Also joining with us uh, is a counselor from A Better Tomorrow, the treatment center in Murrieta. Uh, Jeff Voschall is with us. Jeff, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for coming in, Tyler. Yeah, Not a you. problem. I, I had never heard yeah. of this drug like most people who don't. Yeah. I, I, how long has it been around, and when did you start using it? Uh, it's been around Illinois for about uh, two years that I've known about it. I've been using it for about two months now. Two and months. What's it called for you what, on the street? What is it? It's called a uh, White Surge. White mm -hmm. Surge. There's and Jeff, Jeff, it goes by like 12 other names, right? Oh, many more different names. The names are constantly changing just to keep it legal. There's a lot of marketing schemes involved with being able to sell this product. How were you introduced to it? What was your first time doing it? What happened? I, it was actually being sold at a strip club, and I went to a strip club one night and uh, got introduced to it firsthand by one of the owners. What did he say what it, that it would do? He said, do you like being up? And I said, sure, I love being up. So, uh, Were you a user before? Uh, not uh, not stimulants. Not, not stimulants. Recreational okay. pot things like pot. this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then, what happened at the strip club? Uh, I got on it, and after the first bag that I bought and used, I was hooked instantly. But you didn't have violent behavior like th this. Do you get hot? People say the reason a lot yes. of they take their clothes off because yes. they get hot. Yes. Talk about that. You get kind of like sweaty, and your heart starts beating really, really fast, and you kind of don't know what to do with yourself. You're like shaky, kind of. Are like. you enjoying it? No, no, not really. Once, the, once you get to that point, it's, it's not enjoyable. In 2011, there were 22,904 reports of bath salt use in number of emergency room visits by teens. In two-thirds of these visits, the teenagers mix bath salts and other drugs. Since 2011, numbers of reports have been going down. The addiction level of bath salts is very high. The person requires intensive medical monitoring. If someone wants help, with getting rehab or helping out to quit their addiction, they can call 1-800-447-9081.
This is a toll-free confidential number that's open 24-7.